Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to automate um, selecting all of the photos in a spreadsheet and deleting them all. So this would be useful if, you know, this is something you have to normally do. Really we're going to be selecting all the objects in a spreadsheet, so it could be buttons, it could be like a spin button, a form control button, like anything that's considered an object in the worksheet will actually be deleted. But where I would use this is if I had a lot of photos and I needed to delete them all at once to prevent myself from, you know, selecting them individually or keep selecting them and then deleting all those at once. So this is just an automated way to do, to do that. So to start, all I need to do is start recording a macro right here. And I'm gonna call this macro uh, delete picks. And then I wanna make a shortcut. Um, it says here option command, but Really, it's going to have me do, it's really going to be control P. I don't know why the shortcut is going to be different, <laughs> but here it says it'll be option command. I'm sure when I try that, it's not going to work. I'm pretty sure it's going to be control P, like it would be in Windows. So I have the option to put a description. I don't want to put a description. So now I'm going to record myself actually deleting all the photos so I need to go here on the home tab to find and select go to special I'm gonna select objects and then OK so even if I had 20 pictures they would all be selected I'm gonna hit delete and then I'm gonna stop the recording so let me see if it works. Uh, let me show you what I meant by it actually being um, control P will actually make the function work. So I can view the the macro by going to the view tab and then view macros, selecting the macro, edit. See, the keyboard shortcut is actually control P. And here's basically what we recorded, this code that shows up here. So I'm gonna go back so I can test this out. I'm actually going to uh, add a photo. Let me see, here's a nice photo. So now I'm going to press control P. There, it worked. And this will not only work on, you know, the worksheet where I have the macro saved. Let me test this out in another worksheet. I have three photos here. One, two, three. I'm going to try control P. So It'll, you can have the macro saved in one Excel file, but anywhere where you use the command, whatever active workbook that you're in, it will erase all the photos. It'll actually erase all the objects, but it, the photos is what I usually use it for. Another thing is, let me get back to my other document. So we have a macro, so since I can't use this macro with a button, one thing we can do is we can actually add it to one of these tabs where we have some space. So where do I want to put it? I could put it on the developer tab, but I want to, I'm going to put it on the data tab. So to do this, um, I'm going to go to Excel, Preferences, 
ribbon and toolbar. And let me see. I hope I can do this. I know you can do it in Windows. Okay, so new. Well, I'll just create a new tab. And we'll call this Okay. Rename so let me add okay. So new group. There's my new group. So now I can oh gosh. Sorry, it's, it's taken a second. It's been a while since I've done this. So what we can do is for our new tab, yeah, we can add a macro. Oh, and the only macro we have, it actually shows up here. So while I'm under new tab, I can move this over. And I actually forget how to rename these. Let me see if... Oh, here we go. Rename. So... Customizations. We'll call this group macros you can actually give it an icon too so after I save this uh, my new tab should show up customizations and there it is delete pick so let's see if it works I'll just insert a random photo Yeah, there you go. Works just like it would if you use the command. Now, when you when you create these macros, you got to make sure that you save the workbook as a macro enabled workbook. So, you would just come here and from the selection, you would have to choose this, save it as a XLSM file. And you should be good to go. Oh, I already actually did, so I'll just replace that.